Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to select the input handling for the ZUI manager. It works with both the new input system and the old input system. And you can also use a custom input system. The main uh, functionality for the input system uh, selection is uh, to allow the ZUI manager to automatically detect the back button. And it does that by attaching a uh, input to signal component to the event system. So um, in order to continue, let me show you where to look to, to, to see uh, how input handling is enabled. And as you can see here in input settings, I have input system package selected. So basically this is the new input system and this is usually set uh, by default. And in order to change this setting, you can go to settings. And here in the input settings, you have input system package, legacy input manager and custom input. Now, when you're switching from one to the other, you're actually uh, adding and removing scripting defined symbols or preprocessor directives. And let me show you where you can see those. So let's go to edit project settings. And here I'm going to go to player. There you go, player. And right here we have our script compilation, scripting defined symbols. As you can see, because I have input settings set to input system package, I also have the scripting defined symbols that is called input system package. If I would change this to legacy input manager, so basically I, I'm telling DoZUI, hey, I'm using the old input system in this uh, project. Uh, this would be removed and uh, another scripting defined symbols um, that, that would be legacy input manager would be added and this would enable a different part of the code. Now, if for whatever reason you are not using any, uh, neither the old input system for Unity nor the new one, then you would go for custom input and no uh, scripting defined symbol for input would be set and you would be responsible for capturing the back button. Now, I've talked about this and I'm gonna show you how this uh, uh, works exactly. So let's add a uh, button here. So UI menu, components, let's say a um, flex button. Let's add a simple button to the scene and automatically a event system will also be added because one is not uh, currently present. And this is it. Now, by default, Unity will add the old input module, so for the old input system. And in order to, to use the new one, you just say, re if I were to enter play mode right now, I would get an error. And I'm just going to show you. Let's go to the console. And the error is because of this, all right? Invalid operation exception. You are trying to read input using Unity Engine Emu class, but you have switched active input handling to whatever, the old input system, right? All right, so in order to fix this issue, let's just replace with the new input system. And now when we enter play mode, because we already have a doozy component in the scene, the back button will, uh, will automatically start working. And how does it work? Well, basically uh, here in the, uh, on the event system, the, the doozy manager back button system will automatically attach Ooh, an input to signal component that listens for the cancel action. And this sends a, uh, a signal whenever you press the escape key or the Android back button, it will send a, a signal through the system and um, different components will be able to listen for it. So that's how it works. So let's enter play mode. And you'll see here that a new component will be attached, input to signal, input system package. So basically, uh, this sends, uh, this captures the input from the event system and captures the cancel input action. And I can also see it in action. Um, if I uh, show you the scene, so if I press escape right now, you won't see anything because you're not uh, seeing the signals as the, this is a invisible system, but you are uh, able to uh, debug it and see whenever a system is uh, another, and whenever a signal is sent, if you are looking at the signals console. So let's open the signals console. There you go. And now if I press escape, you will see that there are three signals sent, all right? Uh, one on the input stream, 
uh, one on the back button that ignores the disabled state and one on the back button stream. So basically, this is the one that you're usually listen listening for when you're listening for the back button event. So again, I'm going to press escape several times. And as you can see, uh, you can see this. Of course, we can also just check the streams. So now I'm, lo I'm looking at the streams and you will see that the input stream. Uh, so whenever a uh, input uh, to, to signal um, is received, so basically you're transforming an input um, signal to a signals signal, <laughs> um, uh, that will be sent in on the input stream. And here the back button has two streams. Uh, the back button, whenever the back button is clicked, so basically the cancel uh, input action, so whenever this action is triggered, then the back button will uh, will send these two signals, right? So this is how it works. Of course, if we rename this button to, to back, all right? So you will see that it will also trigger the back button. Uh, let's go flex button, let's rename it. It does, the, the category doesn't matter, so I'll say back. And now this is a back, come on, this is a back button. So you will see that it will also trigger these. There you go. It triggers uh, the, the back button um, stream. And here is the back button singleton. There you go. That has been automatically added. All right. So if for whatever reason the back button doesn't work for you, uh, it's probably due to the fact that you, are, you, you have the, the wrong uh, input handling set. Now, in order to set the input handling in your Unity project, this is regardless whether you're using the UI Manager or not, uh, here on the player, we have input handling. If I can see it, okay. Active input handling, there you go. Can you see it? Yes. And here I, I've, I've set the, uh, only the input system package, the new one, instead of the input manager, the old one. Uh, by default, they are both enabled, but why would you add both systems? If you will be if you will be using only one, it makes no sense. So yeah, you would select one of these two, and of course, uh, if you if you're using a custom um, like Rewired, for example, if you use a custom input system, you may want to uh, to set uh, input handling set to custom. So again, 2Z dashboard, and here uh, in settings and uh, um, settings input settings. You just click and select which input uh, solution you want to use. That's it for this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.